Baltimore Oriole is up in the tree, and the homeowner said that they hang out together. So, where's the Bullocks? Hey everybody, looking for a Bullock Oriole to private residence today. There's been a few around uh, the past couple weeks, but they haven't really stayed very long. This one was seen this morning, so hopefully it's still there. It'd be a lifer for me. I was out doing some research this morning, so I wasn't able to get out to it until now, and we're gonna go and see if we can find it. And uh, I'm pretty pumped, uh, got a lot of energy, so let's go. Diana Bailey, the homeowner, was nice enough to allow me to come to her house in Shriver to look for the bird. I arrived and surveyed the open yard, which had an abundance of feeders and bird baths. I took a seat and prepared my stakeout for the rare immature male Bullock's Oriole. So the homeowner said that if nothing's really been here since one, and she thinks there might be a hawk around, which would make sense. Um, yard is really cool. Just not seeing a lot of activity. I think it's a little colder than it was this morning too. Um, hopefully they'll make an appearance. There's a Baltimore and a Bullock's Oriole here. Suddenly, the yard became alive with the sounds of tiny hummingbirds zooming around and chasing each other. Most of the hummingbirds were rufous hummingbirds, although there was one ruby-throated that was previously banded and marked on the head with a white water-based paint. The paint mark helps the homeowners keep track of the bird and lets them know if any new ones arrive. Wow, I'm amazed by how much hummingbird activity there is. You can hear them, they're so loud. I got really excited because I saw an orangish looking bird perch out, but it ended up being a female cardinal. But uh, while I'm waiting, the hummingbirds keep me entertained for sure. While the hummingbirds battled, other species started showing up to the feeders. Suddenly, the Baltimore Oriole made an appearance. The Baltimore Oriole is a colorful spring and summer visitor to much of eastern North America. Adult males are orange with a black hood and back with white wing bars. Females are a duller yellow orange with gray black wings and white wing bars. Immature birds look similar to adults but with more muted, patchy coloration. The name of the Baltimore Oriole comes from the heraldic crest of England's Baltimore family, which sports similar colors to that of the Baltimore Oriole, although it does appear more yellow and black compared to the orange and black of the actual bird. The diet of the Baltimore Oriole consists mostly of ripe fruit and insects, although they will also come to sugar water feeders. They're at home in open woodlands, edge habitat, or near rivers, and their woven nests are often noticeable hanging from tree branches. Baltimore Orioles have one brood per year of about three to seven eggs. Okay, well, the Baltimore Oriole is up in the tree, and the homeowner said that they hang out together. So, where's the Bullocks? It should be around. With the Baltimore Oriole coming and going, and no sign of the Bullocks, I thought it may have left sometime midday. Nevertheless, I was able to see a few more species in the yard. After all the activity, the yard once again became calm. The yard is now super dead. Some goldfinches in the tree, that's about it. Um, besides just kind of the, you know, calls you hear around. But it really ebbs and flows, and so it's hard to know where a single bird would be. It could be hunkered down somewhere, it could be in, an, in another yard, could have, you know, traveled far away. Just have to wait and see. 
Unfortunately, after hours of waiting, the bull ox oriole never showed up. Man, that was rough. Um, but spent about four hours there. Uh, the homeowners eventually invited me inside and gave me some gumbo and stuff, and that was that was really nice. Um, the gumbo was really good, but um, we looked for the bird for the whole time. Baltimore Oriole came in, and uh, it didn't follow normally. The two had been hanging out together, so it was just kind of like I was like so hopeful, and it was frustrating because it was seen the whole morning, and then you know when I get there, then it's just gone. So that seems to be how it goes sometimes. Um, yeah, I was I was really thinking I was going to see it right away when I showed up. Uh, but saw the Baltimore Oriole, a lot of Rufus humming, Rufus slash Allen's hummingbirds, and uh, ruby-throated hummingbird, no black shin hummingbird uh, either. But yeah, just feeling kind of disappointed. Um, I think I'm going to try and stop by tomorrow morning and just see, you know, if it's still around maybe um, before heading out to do some other birding, so... Tough one, for sure. All right, Bullock Story update. It's the following morning, and the homeowner said the bird was just seen. Uh, I literally just got out of bed, but this is definitely the type of thing you skip your coffee for, so let's see if we can go get it. Back at the house with renewed energy, I relocated the Baltimore Oriole, which was hopefully a sign that the Bullocks would soon follow. Well, I saw the Baltimore already, but it took off. So hopefully the Bullocks isn't far behind. The homeowners invited me back inside to watch from the windows, and suddenly a bright yellow-orange bird landed in the tree and hopped down towards the hummingbird feeder. It was the Bullox Oriole. The male Bullox Oriole is bright orange with a white wing patch, a black back, wings, and top of the head with a dark chin patch and eye line. Females have a dull orange head and tail with gray wings and lower stomach and white wing bars. Immature males look similar to females, but with a darker back, more yellow body, and dark eye line and chin patch. A bird of western North America, the Bullock's Oriole prefers to live in areas where the trees are far apart or in patches. They feed on insects and other animals, fruits, nectar, and more. The nest of the Bullock's Oriole is similar to that of the Baltimore's, but is often deeper and wider with a smaller opening. Baltimore and Bullock's Orioles often hybridize where their ranges overlap, and the two were once considered the same species called the Northern Oriole. In the 1990s, genetic studies determined they were actually separate species. After spending some time with the Oriole, I thanked the homeowners and headed on my way, thankful to get some great looks at this rare bird. Ah, uh, that was incredible. I got to see the Bullock's. It was uh, getting chased by the Baltimore Oriole. Which was really interesting, because when they first showed up, the homeowner thought it was a male and female Baltimore Oriole, which would actually make a lot more sense than it being a Baltimore and a Bullocks Oriole. Uh, really awesome to get to see them behaving, to get to see the Bullocks up close. I really thought it was gone yesterday, so uh, super pumped about that, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.